it's happy kitty here so today i'm doing a what's in my backpack video because i'm going to school in a few weeks september i think third and i'm really excited so this is my backpack i used this backpack last year too i'm just saying some of the supplies i have in this video were from last year so just to give you the heads up, let's get started. Before I start showing you the school supplies, and I do not have that many, I just wanted to tell you that I do not have a lunchbox yet, and I forgot to get erasers while I was at the store. I don't know if I'm going to be showing them in a separate video, but I just might. So let's get started. First up, I have my pencil case, and it is pink with cats, and I love cats, so that's why I chose the pencil case. Plus, pink is my favorite color, and that's really awesome. Next up, I have I have some supplies from last year, so I have these three pens. I have more, but we didn't use pens much in the sixth grade, so I don't think we're gonna use them that much in seventh grade. Plus, I have a lot of pens, and I'm not gonna need that many. Next up, I got my four highlighters. They come in pink, green, orange, and yellow. Usually, the green is replaced with blue, but for some reason, it was green this time. But it's still really cool, because I don't see that many green highlighters at school. Next up, a sharpener. Same one as last year. It's kind of broken like the lid, but it works, so I'm going to be reusing it. And next, my pair of scissors that I that much but they're still really helpful for projects especially because this year or last year actually my teacher let it he wouldn't let us take our projects home just because I really don't know why next I have a pack of mechanical pencils don't know how many are in there but they're really cool and I really like them so I'm very excited and Last two things, I've got pencil crayons, a 24 pack. It comes with a sharpener, but I don't use those sharpeners because they're not that good. I don't like them that much, so. Plus I've already got one. And finally, I have my markers. So that's my 24 pack, because I got, last year I had erasable pencil crayons and I think I definitely didn't have 24 markers, and I remember I didn't have a red marker. A lot of the basic colors I didn't have, and for pencil crayons, I used them in my notebook, and they were erasable, but in the notebook they look like crayon. So it's kind of like, it's kind of annoying at times. So now I'm going to be putting all the supplies into my pencil case, and you will see it. First, I'm gonna open them up though, because that would be boring watching me open them in the video. So I'll be right back. So now I'm going to be putting everything in my pencil case. So I'm going to start out with pencil crayons and markers because I have the most of those. Also the highlighters are going in there. They're going to go into the biggest part of my pencil case. So let's start filling that up. And my other pencil case from last year had like, it's similar to this one except it was white and black. Like, I don't know. I think it was like chevron. And these two, I love these kinds of pencil cases because they have a lot of space. And there's something about them that makes it so much easier at your desk. So there's that. Now I'm going to be putting my pens into this part, the smaller part. I need to put my pencil sharpener and uh, scissors into the big part too. So that's all. Because for my pencils, what I did last year was I put one in my pencil case to use on the first day and I put like an extra in my bag. So I'm going to be putting this teal one into my pencil case. the rest in because we have some bins at home I can put them in. So that's where I'm going to be putting them. And so here's my pencil case all full. And I'll 
show you the awesome thing about this pencil case. So, sorry, I gotta take it. It stands up by itself, so like it's not leaning against the pillow right now. I'll show you. It stands up because you can open the bottom. And I also have the netting part. I like this little pocket with the net. And that's where I like to put my lead. I'm going to put this in my school bag, and I think that's all, so we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you actually want to. Uh, comment, because I pretty much never get comments, and like. I don't know if I've said like before, but that's okay. Bye, everybody!